Here's how to instantly improve in Modern Warfare 3 with three secret tips. The rule is if you learn something from this video, you have to like and hit the subscribe button for the algorithm, of course. And tip number one is God Spots. If you want to flank your opponent's spawn without jumping through the windows, you can climb on top of this ladder. After doing that, get on this ledge and then run and jump. You can land on the other side of the window. You can either hold this and wait for them to push or you can just break the glass and then you're in their base. If you're on this side of the map, you can hold your flank by jumping into the office and looking through the left windows. There's a ton of different ways to get up to top third. My favorite and the most consistent is from these barrels. Jump on the generators and then jump again as you're backing up. Once you have that ledge, of course, you can cut right and then jump up to top third from here. Another way to get top third from this lip, you wanna run and jump onto the railing before turning around and strafe jumping catching the ledge there. Keep in mind that you can go all the way out on this ledge to hold their left windows. And you can do the same thing on the other side. Watch the right windows. Be careful if you find your way up here, this entire oil tanker can explode. So if they send nades up at you, just remember that that's behind you and you might wanna reposition on either side of top third. You can also fall into the lip beneath you and play this corner here. If you're playing be propane on control and get a four wipe, you should know that you can jump and mantle the sign. You can full sprint along the top of it before getting to that railing and doing that same jump we were talking about earlier. I promise you, if you get top third, you are winning that round of control. So it's extremely important to know all the ways to get up there. Another one from green, of course, is jumping up onto the railing here. Then you can run along just like we said earlier. Faster mantle onto green is this one on the right side. Remember, you can crouch here and watch the cross from the left street to elevators. This is good for search and destroy to know exactly how many opponents have crossed towards the left street. At Green Fence, you need to know that there's a ledge on these AC units here. If you jump on top and then crouch down, it gives you a great head glitch that looks over top blue, top heli, and the right side of the map. What you should keep in mind is that if somebody is working the outside of the map to flank, they're going to show up at about right here. So if you're playing this head glitch strictly for the purposes of watching flank, don't overexpose yourself to somebody that would be working that outer wall run. Hug a little bit tighter left and force them to push up a little bit higher before they can fully see you. All ledges on these AC units are able to be head glitched. So regardless of where you're trying to fight from, you can crouch on them. Same thing for here, looking towards mid or on this side, looking towards the left windows. If you don't care about people being mad at you, pretty much all of these lips can be used as a stair glitch. If you lay down here and push all the way forward from the opponent's POV as they're pushing out of those windows, that's the only part of your body that they can see. So you can keep someone entirely in the spawn trap strictly by staying there. There's a bunch of cool ways to get up to top heli besides using the stairs. One of them from this side is mantling on this before jumping up into the right. And on the other side, you can hop on top of this generator on the right and then jump out on the left. Just be careful with that jump because if you stay all the way close to the wall and then jump up, you're gonna get knocked off. What you need to do is back up just a little bit before you look to the left and jump up. On every single one of these propanes, you can hop up on top of this lip. I like to crouch here and head glitch this center part. That way I can look towards the left windows right windows, mid windows, and then the same thing on the other side. A common spot is to hop on top of these barrels and head glitch B bomb. You need to be careful because there's an invisible barrier around the helicopter that you can't shoot through. So make sure to distance yourself a little bit from the helicopter before you take shots. And even if the barrels are blown up, you can hop on this part or hop on this side and look towards the right windows. This is a nice head glitch that looks over right windows and mid windows. Inside Crack Shack, you can actually get on these generators by first jumping on the ledge and then jumping up towards the generators. You can jump again to get on the top one, but you do have to crouch. Once you're crouched up here, you can fully strafe left and right across the entire backside of the wall. If for some reason you're trapped in Crack Shack, this is a great way to get an off angle on anybody pushing in. If you're tired of people hitting this outer wall run and jumping up to flank, what you can do on this side, jump over the wood planks. If you angle your camera down, you can fully see anybody jumping up onto the scaffolding. Just be careful because you can't get wall banged through that. If you're trying to hit the outer wall run as fast as possible, as long as you clear blue, you can jump from here and land that way. Make sure when you're running that you're facing the wall before jumping up top. The reason you want to face the wall is because these parts of the map stick out and they'll push your body off. So if you're facing forward, you see how my body goes to the right a little bit. If you do that too fast, you actually will get knocked off the map. So make sure you're facing either to the left or to the right as you're running and you'll be just fine. If you end up on top of these, you can still run across them. You just need to face them. What I like to do on search and destroy is hit this left side. First check that head glitch we were talking about earlier. And then I can wait here and either jump up to check green fence or wait for somebody to push into top blue. From this side, you can make that wall run a lot faster by jumping off and mantling. Just be careful because that's obviously a little more risky than just crossing and dropping down. You can also also slide underneath this if you're trying to get extra sneaky before jumping up when we're talking underground there's a lot of different spots you need to know one of them is that this plat exists 
Some people don't know that. You can stand up on here, lay down, watch the blue flank. You also have right side underground from here, so there's a lot of information from this spot. But if you're pushing from this side, you can hold their entire left windows at a nice off angle. You can even tuck yourself further into the corner and force them to push up before you take the gunfight. A lot of people don't know the best way to get to this spot where you can crouch, have a head glitch on top heli, as well as being able to stand up and look right windows or onto B-bomb. You don't have to look too far left or too far right. Just jump and catch it head on and then you mantle straight up. You can also hop on this lip right here, which allows you to crouch and watch the flank on both sides of the underground. You can also just straight up jump to that line if you need to. You have to strafe a little bit, but you can catch it just like that. And then even from here, you can hop on that spot that we were talking about earlier. If you turn around and mantle this, crouch here. This is a nice way to see top heli, mid push, right street, and right windows. From B-bomb, if you mantle this, and then cut left, and then a little bit further left, you sink down to this head glitch and can check left windows, mid windows, right windows. A great control spot, a great search and destroy spot, depending on where the enemies are coming from. And it's that that you're mantling on top of. You can do the same thing from the left by looking right, but you're a little bit more exposed as you get there. But this is a great spot and a great head glitch that people would not be expecting. You should know that opponents do not get aim assist through these. So if you can catch any gunfights from here and strafe, they're very, very favorable from your position. So same thing from this side, if you can crouch here, as long as you're strafing, they're not gonna get any aim assist through these. A lot of people will sit cell tower corner, especially in search and destroy. Great way to clear that corner from offense. Of course, you have to check right side underground before you do this, but hop on this railing before jumping up and catching this lip and then you'll be able to look down on anybody playing this corner on either side. Before doing that though, I like to clear right side underground and then look pallets for just a second to make sure nobody's holding you from there. And then you can jump up. And if you really want more information, you can of course look over with your pistol for anybody that might be top propane, heli steps, or camping anywhere else on the site, maybe a generator corner, but then you can jump up. You should also know that you can head glitch this barrel by jumping up here. That allows you to check the B bomb. Also keep an eye on anybody that might be heli steps. A faster way onto the bomb site from this head glitch is to jump on top of the generators. You can full sprint between these two generators without having to jump and then you can strafe onto the bomb site. If you clear these corners, I would lay down and check for anybody that might be cell tower corner. A lot of people don't know that you can do that. And the same thing works from the other side. So if you're playing cell tower corner trying to defend B bomb site, if you lay down, you can see if people push from the ladder towards the site. There are a couple different ways on top of B propane. Of course you have the ladder, you have the jump, you have the jump from crane. There's also, from these barrels, on top of the elevator buttons, you can jump straight up and catch the ledge this way before running around and flanking anybody that's up top. From up top, if you hop on top of these, you can strafe jump onto that same head glitch that we were talking about on the other side. If you see any of these around the map, you can use them to blow up the propane without wasting more bullets. And I found a great way to do that from underground on offense. What you need to do is look at the left side of the propane before looking down, shoot a couple shots to that green fence. And then as you'll see, we took care of those. In a couple seconds, the A propane will blow up. So if anybody's playing heli steps, anywhere near Crack Shack or the A bomb site, that's a great way to clear that area out without wasting nades or tacks or anything like that. You can of course lay down here behind the trash can, look through all of B street. And if you mantle on top of the trash can, you have a nice head glitch that looks over the top heli. Trying to get top heli, you can jump on top of the green fence before backing up and catching the ledge there. From this side on top of these vents, you can jump and catch the ledge that way. Generally for this jump, the earlier the better. The later that you jump, you might not catch the ledge. Whereas if you jump earlier, it's super, super easy. If you climb up to top of Crack Shack, you can of course jump on top of these. You can lay down and watch the entirety of blue as well as underground flank and then top heli. Best sniper angles in the game are angles to watch cross. Hop up on top of this ledge. This allows you to crouch and then you can look all the way across the map to their spawn. If you slide left and then aim to the right side of that wooden slab, you can see down their entire mid lane. You can also hop up on top of this ledge before challenging it here. From the defensive spawn, you can hop on the left side of this table, which allows you to look all the way through spawn at that same angle from earlier. And if instead you cut left, you can hop on this table, looking down the alley this way, which gives a different line of sight towards their mid head glitches. Also, if anybody's working outer propane or even top propane, if you break out these right windows, you're able to see up top, as well as lower. In search and destroy, if you're trying to plant B-bomb safe, you can actually do that from this corner here. You have to slide out just a little bit, but you're able to stretch it so that you're safe from helicopter steps. If you stretch the bomb for this corner, you can back up to your spawn windows 
and check bomb here. And even if they're laying down while diffusing, you can still see them perfectly fine. The great thing about the bomb being that stretch is you can check from top propane. If you find yourself back crane, you can also slide here and lay it down, getting a great line of sight towards bomb. And if you play even further back on top heli, you can shoulder peek the bomb before laying back down. And if you plant for this side of the bomb, you can back all the way up to their spawn building and hop on the ladder before mantling up here. And you can throw a shoulder, check the bomb from here before going back. If you're at pallets instead, you can also jump on top of pallets and check that way. And if you stretch the bomb for this corner, you can wrap mid and check it through the green fence right here. You can check that spot as well from their side of underground if you jump. And if you plant a bomb towards this corner as far as you can towards the propane, you can back up to mid steps and look under the fence directly at bomb. And this isn't very surprising, but you can check from top green as well. Tip number two is nade spots. You can easily nade their deep side of elevator street. You have to jump out of spawn windows and get closer to green fence than you think before jumping and sending that nade. This will go over heli and across from underground and land at their side of elevator street. The next nade spot is for these left spawn windows to deny people from getting up to crack shack or a propane. To do that off the offensive spawn, all that you have to do is jump and send it over the tail of the helicopter before cutting right and then pushing towards blue. This will go, of course, over the helicopter, bounce near or on top of Crack Shack before going into the windows. Next nade you need to know is for anybody playing on the outer part of B Propane or just blowing up B Propane in general. Pretty straightforward, but all that you need to do from Green Shed is jump and send it over the B Propane. As dumb as it is that the propanes blow up on the map, it's important to use that to your advantage and deny anybody from going up B Street. From the defensive side, you need to know how to nade green fence in case people are playing here. It looks like from the defense spawn is going straight up to their side of the steps, jumping and then sending. And like I said, this will go over their side of green and land at their front windows. You need to know how to nade their side of underground after breaking out the right windows is cooking the nade and sending it between those two areas right there. This will land their side of underground. There's a lot of barrels there too that will blow up that character that's there. And tip number three is callouts. We have green fence, green, this is arcade, pallets, call their pallets and our pallets. Depending on what side, you'll say right windows, left windows or mid windows. This would be stairs, so our stairs, their stairs. All of this is underground, so you can say our underground or their underground. Elevator street, this is B propane. You can also call it B tank. Of course, you have outer crane, B bomb. This is cell tower corner. This is generator corner, heli steps. This could be their heli steps our heli steps, of course, a bomb, a propane, or a tank, crack shack, we have top blue, and then bottom blue, I like to call this area wall run or shotzi hop, of course, top third, this is B dom, generally, I call this spot a BZ spot just because he made light of it in the CDL, and then, of course, on this side, it would be left windows, this is pallets, and then right windows, and, of course, top heli, I hope you all enjoyed and learned something, if you did, let me know with a like or a subscribe, and I will catch you next time at lunchtime.